43. Um, and uh, yeah, let's start. Um, I've been doing this for about 17 years. Uh, three of those years were spent in Calgary, Alberta. How many people from Calgary? There you go. Uh, you might want to leave right now. No. Uh, no, um, I think I could paraphrase uh, what Dimitri Martin, a comedian, uh, said about uh, places like uh, Alberta, is that the easier it is to draw a province, the harder it is to live there. Uh, if you live in a provincial polygon, you get you got to get the hell out of there because culture is attracted to squiggles. Um, and I know this is uh, basically the name of my presentation, Fighting the Art in Alberta. It's kind of convenient because art is in Alberta. I wasn't finding art at the Wall Street Art Gallery which was located near a liquor store. Uh, priorities are kind of screwed up uh, there. Uh, they're a little different uh, than our priorities. Um, and what inspires uh, creative people doesn't immediately bubble to the surface on the frontier. Most Albertans are interested in what the land can offer. And uh, they're hardworking and very good at it. But as you can see here, Alberta kind of plays by its own set of rules. Um, permanence, the land and its finite resources are for sale to everyone uh, from anywhere. And they don't, as a consequence, want to build anything uh, of any permanence. So you get stuff like the Barcelona here, which is uh, a clapboard monstrosity. Um, <laughs> And uh, where there's the issue of also perceived value, uh, where pegboard's a necessity, but art and culture aren't necessarily. Um, where the downtown evacuates at 5 p.m. Uh, and gives way to a suburb uh, with uh, cinder block Danier leather outlets and uh, outback steakhouses. Um, and I mean, Versace must be rolling in his grave right now, like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Uh, listed in this rather inauspicious uh, manner. Yes, you can buy this thing, but uh, it's uh, not going to have any flair or art whatsoever in its presentation. Um, and I don't know if you could read this, but this is uh, something I took. Uh, these pictures are, uh, I took all these pictures. Uh, that guy says dirtbag on his, <laughs> the back of his thing. I'm gathering he's not a patron of the arts. Um, so, and in fact, he's probably very resentful of it. Um, so, you know, it, it's a, uh, thank God I was in advertising and design. Um, you also end up with mashups like this. This is Infusion Cuisine, <laughs> which would be actually kind of cool. It's a place that sells burritos and tacos and in addition to pizza. Um, that's, uh, that, but this makes sense to Calgarians. They're just like, yeah, they make that foreign food over there. Um, and then there's the issue of taste. Um, the old saw that money can't buy taste uh, has never rung truer. It's uh, like someone handed Barry like billions of dollars and just said, have at it, you know? Like, uh, short term, it won't mean a neighborhood that's going to have a little gallery, a quaint little bookstore, you know, Boston pizza and a charming little bistro. It means taste and demand will mean that there's three Boston pizzas. Um, and, um, uh, you, you know, macaroni's... Uh, laser hair center and uh, note the American spelling of center uh, note also the clapboard construction um, but you know what I've ripped on Calgary long enough tonight and this is a tale of redemption um, and a story about finding inspiration in the end even though powerful majority is dead set against you actually finding it like I was inspired by this the clapboard construction yes but extremes in temperature actually weather things really beautifully there so, you know, they have, like, really cold winters and uh, beautiful summers and cool nights. Uh, big blue uh, skies, uh, just gorgeous, where there's sort of the intermingling of industry and natural golden fields of grain. No, I think it's really beautiful. So, clapboard gives way to beauty and character, I think. Um, I realize that this is a sewer lid. Uh, but Calgary's uh, were some of the most beautiful I had ever seen in my life. And there was, I started taking note of it, and there were six different designs of sewer lids. And, uh, you know, you have to get inspiration from, where you, from wherever you can. So um, I got it from this. Like, it's, it really is beautiful. Um, but let's hope that once you are inspired, it doesn't uh, manifest as this kind of um, artistic expression. You know what? Fuck it. He's <laughs> You know what? He's trying to go for something here. And it means artistic expression can happen anywhere, right? 
and uh, you know you got to fill the jar and you and you you know expend it. Um, this is a friend of mine, Lisa Turner, and uh, her boyfriend um, who did some stuff for Avenue Magazine. Um, so they took pictures of. Uh, uh, Justin Rutledge and Sarah Harmer, you can see there, and then took portions of their uh, their interviews and scrawled them all over them. And I think that this is a great example. Um, this is for, you know, they, there's a lot of beef uh, there. So, I mean, this is some really attractive design, really design uh, packaging. I mean, that's like just butcher paper, but what a beautiful uh, design that was done here by Foundry Communications, owned by my friend Zara. Zara, by the way, is Chatelaine's uh, Entrepreneur of the Year. Um, this is uh, actually, uh, what is this? This is Soho, um, which is a bar and a restaurant. Um, and, you know, they're doing some beautiful stuff here. These are places with a desire for beautiful uh, spaces. And it's rapidly diversifying population um, because people are coming in. People go where money is. Um, as you can see here, this is Immigrant Services uh, Calgary, the, and I actually worked on this. Um, and you embrace the foreign, what is strange, um, and as a consequence, Calgary's turning into a beautiful place um, because there's different perspectives and it's becoming distinct. Um, and they export that beauty, uh, as you can see here, for work done for the uh, Victoria Symphony uh, by an agency called Wax there. Uh, Monique Gamash is one of my friends there. Um, I mean, she frets over stuff that I don't, uh, namely paper stock processes and varnishes. And they have a beautiful paint point of view and award-winning style. And this is born and raised in Calgary, and it's being exported. And this is uh, Calgary tourism. Not Calgary tourism, this is Alberta tourism. Um, some really beautiful work that's being done there. Um, so uh, it's gorgeous textured art.